Hello, everyone. Just trying to get things settled here before we go into it. First of all, it's great that you you join. So if you see this live, please put in the comments hashtag live. If you see this um, in the recording, please put in hashtag recording. This is the first time we're going into innovation culture coding, where I share a little bit of how I see innovation cultures, innovation culture evolving and the diff different methodologies of how you can use them going forward. So if you have questions in between, put them into the comments as well. If you look, uh, if you watch this in the recording, um, I will be answering comments, of course, later on as well. I hope it's all going to work right now. It at least shows that uh, we are live. Awesome. So innovation culture. Innovation culture is one of the opportunities for all businesses out there. So innovation culture is the subculture of your organizational culture. A lot of organizations, specifically if we focus on Western Europe, are grown in a way that they have been established businesses leveraging their knowledge and uh, growing inside of their ecosystems going forward so they're they're used to being leaders in their in their area they are and they have a lot of knowledge what often happens when companies get very very successful they get um in a protective mode which means they try to keep the success they have and stay in that mode going forward which then in return is literally long-term at least bad for the business. So innovation culture is a subculture of a company culture. Innovation culture helps a business to test, validate, and think things from different angles. That's why I'm focusing very much on innovation culture with big, big businesses right now to help them understand how can they iterate and be faster going forward and really drive things into their core business as kind of innovative iterations going forward. And I've built out a model. So today's is the first um, innovation culture coding. So I thought about, I will share a little bit the base of the model and then we go deeper in the next weeks. Innovation culture coding will happen now every Tuesday at 11.30 Berlin time zone. So if you watch this on recording, there will be another one next time. If you watch this live, there's another one next time as well. Um, ask your question in the comments i will either answer them straight away today or i will answer them in the next call um which is next week's tuesday so let's get into it i will share my screen to show you a little bit of what i'm scribbling here to give you a little understanding of what i'm talking about let me see if that works so you should be seeing things coming up right now looking good So innovation culture coding. I hope you can see that. Let me wait a little bit. Yes, there you are. So innovation culture coding is based on the three success pillars of every organization. And I will just draw a couple of circles. So we have one circle I call, let's see how it works. I call business. Business is, of course, the reason you maybe not the reason, but the outcome driven engine of your business where you say, how do we move this thing to, to earn money and create wealth um, and impact in the, in, in the world? So business is one of the key anchors. And sorry for um, just drawing the scribbling. I have, of course, a proper nice version of that. Um, if you're interested in getting the, the, the real version of that, let me know. So business is one of the parts uh, we are focusing on. Then we have leadership. Leadership. And then the third pillar is the community. So this, these are the main success pillars of every organization. You need to work with all three of them that it will, will be moving forward. So I'm just putting here on the top, innovation, culture. Now we'll go deeper into the three bubbles you see right now. Oops. So there's a, there's a 
fourth bubble, which will be in the middle, which is the connecting bubble between them. Let's make it in a different color and we call that empowerment. Fits perfectly. So empowerment, in case you can read that. So we have three, three success pillar, pillars of every business, and then we have an engagement uh, engine, which is in the middle. Let's go into the leadership uh, bubble first. So leadership is key in every culture transformation, every culture going forward. So every business is thriving on the leadership. The leadership has a key role in making a successful culture happen. And what we divide that into, oops, wrong color. Let me get different color here. Um, what we divide that into is, first of all, from a leadership perspective, every leader in an organization needs to lead themselves. So it's leading yourself. Key point. Um, it's really understanding of how do you lead yourself to be able to lead others? How do you, how do you, are you in tune with your values, with your understanding of the world and with your perspective on the business and how you, how you look going forward? So it's all about leading yourself first. So that's why this is number one. Number two is how do you lead others? So it's leading others. So an, an innovation culture is built on the three success pillars. And then we start with the leadership. So you need to lead yourself. You need to understand how you lead yourself before you go into leading others as, as, as a manager and leader in an organization. And the third part is how do you lead through thoughts? So it's all around thought leadership. Thought leadership. And that's number three. So it's a staircase. You need to lead yourself before you lead others. And then you go towards thought leadership. There are a lot of other methodologies out there. This is just what I've worked out over the last 24 years of experience working with different organizations as being one of the most successful ones. So leadership is a key driver in, an, in, in a company culture and specifically, of course, for innovation culture. If we move on towards community, so community, are it's all about people. It's the people who are engaged in the ecosystem of your company. If we start with number one, it's your employees. Employees is number one. So you need to work with your employees from a culture perspective internally first before you go to the external world because the whole innovation culture and as well company culture is reflected towards the outside that's why you need to start working with your employees first um, from a community perspective then secondly you work with your customers so customers is second i just see that looks awesome <laughs> so so if you want to get uh, a really nice version of that, please contact me. I have uh, properly drawn versions of that in PDF and happy to show that. And if you have questions, of course, you can put them into the comments, even if you're not watching that live. And again, put hashtag live if you see this live or hashtag um, recording, then I see who is, re who is watching what and who is commenting on what. So the third part on, on a community is partners partners it's about who do you work with in the wider ecosystem of your business who are who are in partnership with you so it's it's starting with leadership just repeating that leading yourself leading others thought leadership then understanding from a community perspective who are the key parts of the community which is number one is employees number two is customers and number three are the partners and then when we look into the business, that's a bit more from a business context. It's all about what is the right business model for you culture. So it's business model. 
And number two is, of course, if you look into the business model, into how do you build an organizational culture or a company culture towards innovation, it's the organizational structure. So all of these things impact and influence your company culture. The key part, and that's the, the middle one, is the engagement engine. So how do you engage? How do you empower the leadership of your business to work with the communities so that the outcome is future business? That's what it is all about. So working with the culture will help an organization to develop better business going forward. Most companies, though, to say, focus on the business. They don't focus on the leaders and don't focus on the employees too much. It's all about how can we win as quickly as possible with the business we work with, rather than how can we learn, work long term with the leaders and the employees and then help them to develop business going forward. So I will just go down into the middle part and, and draw that separately. So this is going here almost looks like a flower right now. Um, so you see this and that's the empowerment. Empowerment engine. So that's the middle part. I just zoomed that out um, in, in, in a slightly different way. Empowerment of people, of leaders inside of your organization. And before you start empowering it's all about how do you engage so number one here is engage engaging the leaders first so if you're let's say you're the owner of the business and you want to want to build a new innovation culture you want to bring a subculture into your company culture you start with the leadership so you engage the leaders in a specific way that they help you as the company owner driving this forward. If you are somewhere in the middle, you still always work with the leaders first. So it's engage, then you enable them. Enabling means you help them with the right support. Um, you help the leaders first leading themselves, then leading others, which means you give them the right tools, you give them the right knowledge. Whatever is needed for the leaders to be successful, empowering then later on the employees customers and partners is what what enabling is about so you need to understand what is the support structure the leaders will need to then empower the others and then if you're a leader later on you need to understand what are the support structures your employees customers and partners later on will need to be empowered and be successful in what they're doing and the last part of the empowerment engine is the empowerment And that's all about so proper empowerment in an organizational structure for, towards culture is you delegate. So you are a leader, you're delegating tasks, you're delegating perspectives towards uh, employees inside of your organization. That means you, if you do this properly, you do this in a way that you delegate responsibility. So that means you give them an opportunity to say, hey, this is what we want to get as an outcome. That's the broader perspective. That's the frame I delegate to you. Let's say, I want you to do it, to, to organize a new meeting. So you give them the, they organize the meeting as the topic. You give them the framework, which means this is the topic of the meeting. I want to have at least 20 other leaders into that and give them a little bit more specifics. And then they have the responsibility to do that. That means you as a leader step back. You give them the responsibility of developing this meeting, if we take this meeting as an example, on doing. The next part is you're not just delegating responsibility, you're delegating out, um, your de sorry to say, you're, you're delegating as well authority. So authority is the part where when you delegated the responsibility to, to organize the meeting, you delegate as well the authority to take decisions inside of that frameworks. So you give boundaries, let's say, it's the budget um, cap you want to be in, it's, it's, it's this number, it's that number. You say, if you stay in this, 
you are all good to go and take decisions inside of your responsibilities yourself. So now imagine that from a company culture perspective, if you do this with one team, one leader is starting with one team to, to use this practice. So you influence one team, one team is influencing, the next team is influencing, the next team is influencing, the next team. And that's how you build the culture. When you're done with all employees, you start already parallel with the customers. So you empower your customers, you engage with your customers, you enable your customers, you empower your customers in the direction you want them to be contributing to the ecosystem you work with. And then next part is you work with your partners doing the same. So that's roughly the understanding of the model we have built out, which is all about how do you build innovation cultures as a subculture in a company culture. What I have seen, it's a long-term game. So I, I'm right now working with very, very large organizations who do this, and we help them building up different strategies, building up different empowerment mechanisms inside of their organizations. So if you're a coach or if you're a consultant, this is something which will help you to work with, uh, with clients, which will help you to work um, in a deeper way with the, uh, with the culture of the clients. Because what I always have seen is when you work with a client, let's say you're, you're an innovation consultant or you're a business management consultant, you work with the client and you see their barriers. And so like, let, let's say you develop the strategy, you will develop maybe even on top of that a vision and then you build a program which is brought into the organization. If the organization is not having an innovation culture, the outcome of your project, the, the, the strategy you have built up, it's not going to happen. There will be always people working against that perspective. And I know um, a lot of people say, yeah, but that's not, not what's happening to us. I have been working in large organizations over the last 24 years, and it's always happening. Sometimes it happens later if people are not properly engaged and empowered inside your ecosystem. So that was the first innovation culture coding um, session. Um, I hope you like it. P please let me know in the comments. I'm happy to go deeper into any of the bubbles and go more into how do you engage, how you enable, how you empower, or going into more topics we work with. That's it for today. Thank you very much for joining. Please let me know in the comments and see you next Tuesday, 11.30 for the next Innovation Culture Coding.